नमस्कार दोस्तों मेरा नाम गौरव है गौरव दली आर भी मेरा YouTube चैनल है कृपया सब्सक्राइब करें दोस्तों ये सब्सक्राइब का बटन दबाएं साथ में बेल आइकन को क्लिक करना ना भूलें रिलेटेड पार्टी ट्रांजैक्शन सेक्शन 188 फर्स्ट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ द टर्म रिलेटिव विद रेफरेंस टू द सेक्शन 277 आई दे आर मेंबर ऑफ अ हिंदू अनडिवाइडेड फैमिली आई आई दे आर हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ आई 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 वन पर्सन इज रिलेटेड टू द अदर इन सच मैनर एज मे बी प्रिस्क्राइब्ड explanation one father include stepfather two mother include stepmother three son four son's wife five daughter six daughter's husband seven brother include stepbrother eight sister includes stepsister now we required to understand the meaning of the related parties section 276 read with rule 3 of company specification of definition details rule 2014 define the related party with reference to a body corporate means by a director or his relative i i a key managerial personnel or his relative i i i a firm in which a director manager or his relative is a partner i v a private company in which a director or manager or his relative is a member or director v a public company in which a director or manager is a director and hold along with his relative more than 2% of its paid up share capital the i any body corporate whose board of directors managing director manager is accustomed to act in accordance with the advice directions or instructions a director or manager the i i any person under whose advice direction or instruction the director or manager is accustomed to act the i i i any company which is they a holding subsidiary or an associated company of such company or be a subsidiary of a holding company to which it is also a subsidiary in addition to the above the director or key managerial personnel of holding the company or his relative also covered under the definition of related parties provided that nothing in sub clauses v i and v i i shall apply to the advice direction or instructions given in a professional capacity exemption to a private company sub clause v i i i shall not apply with respect to section 188 dealing with related party transaction notification dated 5th june 2015 related party transaction subsection 1 to section 188 except with the consent of the board of directors given by a resolution at a meeting of the board and subject to such condition as may be prescribed no company shall enter into any contract or arrangement with related party with respect to clause a sale purchase or supply of any goods or materials b selling or otherwise disposing of or buying property of any kind c leasing of property of any kind d availing or rendering of any services or property the appointment of any agent for purchase or sale of goods material services or property yes such related parties appointment to any office or place of profit in the company its subsidiary company or associate company and g underwriting with subscription of any securities or derivatives thereof of the company first proviso provided that no contract arrangement in the case of a company having paid up share capital of not less than such amount or transactions not exceeding such sums as may be prescribed shall be entered into except with the prior approval of the company by a special resolution second proviso provided further that no member of the company shall vote on such resolution to approve any contract arrangement which may be entered into by the company if such member is a related party the second proviso to section 188-1 shall not apply to a private company by the notification no gsr 464e dated 5th june 2015 third proviso provided also that nothing in this subsection shall apply to any transaction entered into by the company in its ordinary course of business other than transactions which are not on an arms length basis provided also that the requirement of passing the resolution under the first proviso shall not be applicable for transactions entered into between a holding company and its wholly owned subsidiary whose accounts are consolidated with such holding company and placed before the shareholders at the general meeting for approval the first and second proviso to section 188-1 shall not apply to a a government company in respect of contract or arrangement entered into by it with any other government company be a government company other than listed company 
in respect of contracts or arrangements other than those referred to in above clause A, in case such company obtain approval of the ministry or department of the backslash central government which is administratively in charge of the company or as the case may be, the state government before entering into such contract or arrangement, by the notification no. GSR 463 dated 5th June 2015. Office or place of profit. Greater than where such office or place is held by a director, if the director holding it receives from the company anything by way of remuneration over and above the remuneration to which he is entitled as director, by way of salary, fee, commission, perquisites, any rent-free accommodation, or otherwise, greater than where such office or place is held by an individual other than a director or by any firm, private company or other bodies corporate if the individual firm private company or body corporate holding it receives from the company anything by way of remuneration, salary, fee, commission, perquisites, any rent-free accommodation, or otherwise, arms-length transaction, greater than arms-length transaction mean a transaction between two related parties that is conducted as if they were unrelated so that there is no conflict of interest requirement to pass special resolution with reference to the company's meeting of board and its powers rules 2014 special resolution for the purpose of the first proviso to subsection 1 of section 188 except with the prior approval of the company by a special resolution the company shall not enter into a transaction or transactions where the transaction or transactions to be entered into Greater than for clause A to subsection 1 of section 188, where the contract or arrangement value exceeding 10% 10% of the turnover of the company or rupees 100 crores, whichever is lower. Greater than for clause B to subsection 1 of section 188, where the contract or arrangement value exceeding 10% 10% of the net worth of the company or rupees 100 crores, whichever is lower. Greater than for clause C of subsection 1 of section 188, where the contract or arrangement value exceeding 10% 10% of the net worth or 10% 10% of the turnover of the company or rupees 100 crores, whichever is lower. Greater than for clause D and E to subsection 1 of section 188, where the contract or arrangement value exceeding 10% 10% of the turnover of the company or rupees 50 crores, whichever is lower, the above specified limit for the transaction or transactions to be entered into either individually or taken together with the previous transaction during a financial year. Greater than for clause F to subsection 1 of section 188, for appointment in office or place of profit in a company, its subsidiary company or associate company at a monthly remuneration exceeding to and half lakh rupees. Greater than for clause F to subsection 1 of section 188, where the remuneration for underwriting the subscription of any security derivatives thereof of the company exceeding 1% 1% of the net worth explanation, greater than the turnover or net worth referred in the above subrules shall be computed on the basis of the audited financial statement of the preceding financial year, greater than in the case of a wholly owned subsidiary. The special resolution passed by the holding company shall be sufficient for the purpose of the entering into the transaction between wholly owned subsidiary and the holding company. Contract voidable if approval of board slash members is not taken, where any contract or arrangement entered into by a director or any other employee, without obtaining the consent of the board or approval by a resolution and if it is not ratified by the board slash shareholder within three months from the date on which such contract or arrangement was entered into. Such contract or arrangement shall be voidable at the option of the board. If the contract or arrangement is with a party related to any director or is authorized by any other director, the director concerned shall indemnify the company against any loss incurred by it. Further, it shall be open to the company to proceed against a director or any other employee who had entered into such contract or arrangement in contravention of the provision of the section for recovery of any loss sustained by it as a result of such contract or arrangement. Offense and penalty. Any director or other employee of a company who had entered into or authorized the contract or arrangement in violation of the provision of this section shall 
In case of listed company, be punishable with imprisonment for a term which may extend it to one year or fine, which shall not be less than twenty-five thousand but which may be extended to five lakh rupees or with both. And in case of any other company, be punishable with fine which shall not be less than twenty-five thousand but which may be extended to five lakh rupees. Disclosure Requirement Greater than disclosure to be made in board's report. Greater than disclosure to be made in the register of contracts or arrangements in which directors are interested. Every company shall maintain a register in form MBP for omnibus approval for related party transactions on annual basis. They all related parties shall require prior approval of the audit committee and the audit committee may make omnibus approval for related party transaction proposed to be entered into by the company. The omnibus approval shall be valid for a period not extending one financial year and shall require fresh approval after the expiry of such financial year. C. Omnibus approval shall not be made for a transaction in respect of selling or disposing of the undertaking of the company. D. Provided that where the need for related party transaction cannot be foreseen and aforesaid details are wholly available. Audit committee may make approval for such a transaction subject to their value not exceeding rupees 1 crore per transaction. However, audit committee shall consider different parameter before giving the omnibus approval to any contracts or arrangements. A repetitiveness of the transaction be justification for the need of omnibus approval. The omnibus approval shall contain or indicate the following, one name of related parties, to nature and duration of the transaction. 3. Maximum amount of transaction that can be entered into for any other information relevant or important for audit committee to take a decision on the proposed transaction. For related party contact and arrangements, form AOC to required to be enclosed with the board report. See more at http colon slash slash in slash company law slash related party transaction understanding section 188 companies at 2013 html number signs dash dot cabo qj 6k dot